Hello, I'm Remo Poe, and today I'll be providing you a comprehensive guide on how to make an Alexa skill using Node.js and Lambda functions in 2024. But before we get on with the video, there are some prerequisites. Firstly, you will need an Amazon developer account in order to create your Alexa skill. And secondly, you'll need an AWS account in order to create your Lambda function, both of which will be linked below. So you should now have created the required accounts. I'm going to provide a quick overview of what we'll be talking about today. So we'll be creating an Alexa skill, which will be acting as a front end. And then we'll move over to creating our Lambda function using Node.js, which acts as the back end. We'll connect these two up and you should have a full stack Alexa application, which you can manipulate in any way you desire to make your own applications at home. So step one, create your skill. This part will be about the front end. And there is some terminology that you should know before I show you exactly how it's done. So firstly, there's invocation name, intents, sample utterances, and slots. In order to uh, show you what these mean, I've provided a bit of a physical real world example uh, in terms of a phone application. So uh, in order to invoke our Alexa skill, we have an invocation name, and this is like clicking one of these orange buttons to open an application. Secondly, we have sample utterances, which are the things you say in order to invoke an intent. Once an intent is invoked, this will allow the Lambda function to carry out any logic that uh, needs to be carried out. So in this instance, I want to plus one uh, would be the same as clicking this plus one button, which invokes a plus one intent, which then allows your Lambda backend to plus one to whatever the current number may be. So now that is out the way. I need you to head over to developer.amazon.com and make an account if you have not already. We're going to click on Alexa, then we're going to go to create Alexa skill, and then we're going to go to the console. Once we've done that, we're going to click on create skill. We're going to give this a skill name of code journal, and you can give a name of anything you like. I'm going to change this to the UK and click next. Other, custom. We are going to be provisioning our own service. Hit next. Uh, we'll be starting from scratch. Hit next. And we'll create a scale there. So we can head over to our invocations here on the left we'll go to invocation name. I will be calling it code journal. Uh, we'll save that. Uh, we'll head down to the interaction model. We'll go to intents. There's a custom hello world default intent there, which we will delete, delete intent as we'll be creating our own. I'm going to be calling this journal entry a journal entry intent and the things we say to invoke this intent the sample utterances I will say make a journal entry and then we'll make a variable slot here called journal slot and we will add that and we will add that there and you'll see that slot pops up down here so we're going to give it a slot type of search query as this allows for the capturing of less predictable inputs. So once we've edited our slot type, we're going to hit save. And then we will build our skill. So now we have essentially built up our front end application, which means we need to now configure our back end. So in order to create our back end, we'll be creating a Lambda function. So luckily for us, we do not need to create a Lambda function from scratch. I'm going to need you to head over to this web page, which will be linked below and change the location to wherever you may be. I'm going to use Europe Island as I feel this works best for me. And once you've done that, we're going to change the name to whatever you desire. For me, it will be journal entry and we'll deploy that. So 
once it's deployed, you should see a page that looks a little bit like this. It has some basic IAM roles, and most importantly, it has the node modules required to develop the skill pre-installed, so you don't have to faff around with that. Okay, so now I want you to head over to the AWS console. Make sure you're in the right location and click on Lambda. Make sure your function is there. We'll give that a click. And now it's time to generate some of our Lambda code as we will not be using the code provided by this particular application. So now it is time to generate our Lambda code. And this process has been conveniently automated by Amazon. We're gonna go back to the developer console. We're gonna to go to the JSON editor. We're gonna copy all of this and then head over to the Alexa skill code generator. And this will also be linked below. We'll paste that here on the left and we will generate the code that we need. We will copy all of that and then head over to our Lambda function. So we're gonna replace the default code with the code that we have just generated. So the Alexa skill code generator is slightly dated and the code it outputs requires updating. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to update this code. So firstly, we're gonna to have to change the ASK SDK to ASK SDK core. And secondly, we have to change Alexa skill builders standard to Alexa skill builders custom. So the first edit is very easy. We will type in dash core there, and then we will do a command or control F to find our standard that we want to change. And it will be the one on line 636 around this line anyway. And we'll change that to custom. And we will deploy this function. So now we have our front end and our back end and they need to be connected. So I'm going to show you how to do just that. On the Lambda function, we want to copy the ARN and then head back over to our Alexa developer console. We will then go down to endpoint, click on the endpoint. We will remove the default entry here and we'll replace it with our current function ARN and we will save that. And once that's done, it should be ready to test. So I hear you say, Remo Po, how do I test my Alexa application? Well, I'm gonna show you just now. To run tests, we're gonna head over to the test button here. We're gonna click development. And then we're gonna say open code journal, as that was the invocation name chosen by me. Hello and welcome to Code Journal. Say help to hear some options. So as you can see, the Code Journal has been invoked. So we're gonna type help. And these options will be the utterances that we have put in beforehand. You asked for help. Here's something you can ask me. Log a journal entry saying, journal content. So we're gonna log a journal entry saying, hello, YouTube. This is an Alexa skill. Hello from journal entry. Slot journal content was heard as hello -y. This is an Alexa skill. And that right there is a full stack, fully functioning Alexa skill, which is ready for you to edit in any way you desire. Thank you for watching. And if you get stuck along the way, leave a comment and I'll be sure to help you out.